Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here on the moon. Yes, that's right. We are in the moon space elevator vanilla challenge and oh my goodness me, I can't believe that I completely forgot about all the high-tech buildings that there are already built into the game. And today we are going to try and utilize as many of them as possible. Here we are following our moon rail, moon rail, whatever you want to call it, and people are loving it. But yeah, just take a look at some of these buildings that we've got. So if we go into our unique buildings, and we've got these. These were the high-tech building pack DLC, perhaps, or something like that, I believe they were from. Uh, electric car factory, the nano center, uh, nano technology center, that's amazing. Research center, robotics institute, semiconductor plant, software development studio. Look, we can even build rockets to take us back home again. And then the television studio is like another one that's added in. And there was also some other things uh, under parks. We've got the biodome. How did I forget about the biodome? Which is a park, which is absolutely fantastic. And the vertical farm. So we are definitely going to be setting up with some of those. And then in the healthcare tab, we have also got the cryopreservatory, sort of futuristic style building. Um, is there something under these ones as well? I think. Oh, yeah, isn't there? There's this, isn't there? The intelligence agency. I'm pretty sure that is all the buildings from the high tech pack. Oh, and yeah, there was like the wave power plants, which we're not going to use. So, yeah, there's no waves on the moon. Um, yeah, so that's fantastic. So we're going to really dive into those. We're growing. We're making money. Things are going well. Next milestone's 15. Uh, can we actually unlock any other squares? Not at the moment. We can do when we unlock the next one. Uh, but we'll see about that. We're doing okay at the moment. How is our monorail going? 331 passengers a week with five vehicles, which is great. Anybody waiting too long for vehicles? They look like they're running just about perfectly to me so that is good so which one shall we aim to include first i'm wondering whether we could get some of those biodomes in here because we've got like these little parks and things in uh, what do they cost <clears throat> 240 a week cost 25 <laughs> yeah, they're not cheap um we do have hmm, just thinking if we've got like a little park area we could remove I think these two here, if we remove these two, they will go in there nicely, I think. Let's have a look. That they are the same size. Yes, they are. So I'm going to delete that, delete that, and we're going to take that and have, don't complain, a biodome, one, two, three, four, five across there. And this one's going to face this way. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just counting the squares. Oh, there we go biodomes on the moon i love it i love it which is absolutely great um also the other thing that i was asking i think i was asking you all about in the last episode please be aware i'm recording these ahead of time so i can take a few days off i've not seen any of your comments so i want to know what we can name the place any moon slash t related names for different areas of our city let me know in the comments below i will be checking all those before the next episode i'm not recording any more ahead it's just these three um and then uh, yeah then we'll have a look um i wanted to do um low density commercial buildings double their sales so we're going to do that one these always work out really well um even though there's an upkeep high density commercial double their sales with a bit of, of cost industrial space planning i mean we just have to do it it's got the word space in it i always do it anyway doubles the amount of goods produced by zoned industry buildings we need more goods um so that's good high tech housing now this doesn't change the look of the buildings, but it slightly increases land value with a cost attached to it. Before I do that, let us check our land value. So it actually isn't doing too bad, but what will probably happen is we will increase the land value and then we'll get like an upgrade uh, to buildings and things. So like these will shoot up another level. I mean, they're not that far off. We can actually have a look in here, can't we? At the levels. I always find this one quite hard to look at. But basically, the darker the colours, the higher the levels. And, I mean, we've got a lot of houses here that are sort of one level away. I reckon if we do this, high-tech housing in the entire city, we're going to just... There we go. We're going to get a load of upgrades, which will show by the little green arrows popping up. You can hear them. Listen to the pings. There we go. It's awesome green arrows. Ping, ping, ping. Green arrows over there. Ping, ping, ping. And our population will shoot up. Whether we can afford it or not, 
is going to be something to keep an eye on. So we're probably going to find that... Yeah, look, this is... Oh, look, upgrading. And every time they upgrade, or whether it's because they upgrade or the land value goes up and then they upgrade, look, things are going much greener, which is good, which is good. Our land value is 42. It went down. Surely our land value should go up. Anyway, uh, I want to get a couple more domes over here. Uh, if we can. I believe these domes will sort of fit in these squares, will they? They will. They're the right size to fit in these squares. So what I could do is where the land value is a bit lower, like this section here, we could pop one in, like literally right next to it. What is this? This is a park. Yeah, okay. This park's going. And we're going to pop one right in there. Could it just fit so perfectly? Look at that. And we're really getting that spacey look, which is just what I want. Nice. Now, what about the... So, what do they actually do? Is it just literally a park? Noise pollution zero, entertainment 150, animal species are being kept alive. Ah, oh, excellent. Refuge for those. Well, that's cool. Uh, vertical farms, entertainment 100, 400 a week, vertical farming, crops. Okay, so it's basically a park with the look of a vertical farm. Uh, these are also, I believe, um, they're slightly smaller than the square. So we probably need to find a good spot for those. Um, let's have a quick look again at the land value. So like this area here and this area over here could both do with one. And do you know what I'm going to do? I bet it'd fit in there. So I'm going to take this elementary school and we're going to butt that up to there. There we go. Look at that. And that is going to be right opposite the elementary school. Oh, yeah. Look at those farms in there. Look, you can see right in. There's like a couple of trees on there. But what is the clouds? Oh, it's fake clouds painted on there to make people think that there's clouds in the sky. But of course, we're on the moon. So there's no clouds on the sky. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to be using more of those. Um, I wonder whether we could just fit another one in here. Why not? We're we using up so much money. <laughs> Let's pop another one in there. And look at that land value. The highest ever land value. I'm going to put... Yeah, we're going to have those over there. I want to increase the land value here. Now, this, unfortunately, the Statue of Wealth hasn't done what I thought it would do. We're going to lose that one. I'm sorry, folks, but we're going to pop one of these in instead, and you're going to love it. Ah, oh, look, land value has gone up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think that starts adding a little something, something to the city. Now, what else? I mean, we've got a huge call out for some things here. So I am just wondering about the noise here of these. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do... But that's going to affect the land value is we do have offices oh now here's a thing how about we do our own little zone up the middle here so these two should still be the same zone yeah it looks like they are i'm just going to connect them down here just so it doesn't confuse me right we're going to have another zone in here very carefully there we go. So this is the Grove District. And then IT Buildings. This is the one. IT Cluster down this middle center section. And then we're going to have... Oh, come on. IT Buildings all the way up the center here and see what they look like. And they will block noise as well as they come in. But of course, being IT Buildings, they will be super tall. There we go. That is looking that is looking even more spacey. I'm liking that. I really am liking the look of that. That is going to fit in really well. And I am 99.9% .9 sure that if we have a look at the noise, that it should block some noise going through. Although the red is still going quite far. But it's not that bad. I mean, these people here, I think, shouldn't be too unhappy. Yeah, look, the land value is increasing to green in the middle where these are growing. So it can't be that bad all over. So 
I'm liking that. High tech looking buildings. Right. I think we need to get some expansion going. And we've got this little section up here. I really like the look of the nano technology center. So I think we're going to use that uh, in the middle here, which means we need some roads. My immediate thought was let's grab a one new road. And uh, no, Biffa, no. We are in non-modded uh, gameplay here, so no one new roads for you. Um, let's go there like that from there to there. See if that works. And we can pop that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four in the middle there. I was just counting the squares either side. That is looking quite cool with the monorail and the donut vans. Uh, <laughs> There we go, just a little bit of something. And then around this, actually, let's get some water. Oh, look at that, the teeniest sliver of no water through the middle there. Let's just add a couple of these. There we go. I'm going to do another one over there. There we go. Excellent. And then, yeah, around these, I mean, we could put in some real proper high density commercial like this. I think that would be good. Why not? Uh, let's do that. And then we'll go this one down here. How wide are they? Three. We'll just match that over here. And I think that'll be okay. We've got a lot of high density stuff going on down here anyway. So that'll be good. All right. Well, let's leave that growing for a while and just keep an eye on our industry. Yeah, that's going okay. Few complaints over here. Not enough buyers for products. Okay, that's fine. Um, we haven't got into the oil. Oh, of course we have. I'll we'll say we haven't got into the oil. Yes, we have over here. Right, okay. So what this means over here is I bet these two are full. Yep, 300 barrels, 300 barrels. So nobody's using uh, this oil at the moment. So they've got nowhere to ship it to. It is literally just coming into here. I still haven't worked out in my brain um, what is going to happen with let's go into our oil if we turn all of that oil oh we've got workers barracks and things here we go into sludge what's this turning it into <laughs> oil sludge pyrolysis plant petroleum we turn it into petroleum i think what we're going to have to do is go down the route of setting up our factories and thinking what do we need to get these factories to work because on its own that petroleum is doing nothing for us um it's not getting sold like it normally would but we do have some factories unlocked, which I think would be actually worth doing now that we have more money. So this one here, household plastic factory. Tech vinyl household plastic. So we're starting to make some things for the people living on the moon. They need plastic and oil. Well, we can make both of those things. So I'm thinking maybe we have this as like a little factory area, perhaps, down here. So we're going to have that road there. Now, I know in the game that we enjoy, I would normally use something like more effective transfer manager because I'm going to put some warehouses next to this and just hope that the game happily works along with what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm going to go there and can I squeeze that in there. I can. I mean, it should be okay. I'll just come out like that. So that was petroleum and plastic. So we'll have that on balance. We'll have petroleum. We'll have that on balance. I'm, I'm going with having everything on balance at the moment. That's my new, my new thing. We we'll just leave it on balanced. See what the heck happens. So now we need to get our plastics and petroleum going, which I'm going to do up here, um, which we're going to do just off of this little road here because I can go up, turn around, and come back. And then we'll just see how it goes. We'll see what happens. So this one makes the petroleum. This one makes the plastic. So it's basically you have one of those and one of those. And the trucks now should start coming out, delivering the items. Uh, we've got traffic lights there that we don't need. Let's get that one there, that one there. We'll do that. There we go. So they're making the plastics. They're making the petroleum. 
And that should then be delivered over to the factories that we've just mentioned. Oh, also save, quick sip of tea. And then put into our factory and uh, turned into goods, which can help our commercial areas. Okay, so we're getting the little glitchy thing here, look, where they won't send out. So that is very strange. And again, I think that's a distance thing because it's their, their storage is all the way over here. I mean, this guy is calling out for them, this one here, and these are calling out for them. But for some reason, it's just not going to go that far. And I've never come across this as a problem before with distance. That is just really, really strange. So I think we can fix it. I'm going to just put a couple of these in. Uh, small ones here. <laughs> we really need to smooth, the, smooth out the moon. We've got it even on the moon. We have to smoothify. So I'm just going to uh, do this. And just give ourselves some space. Just so it doesn't look... There we go. I don't mind it looking like we've dug into the moon because that is probably what you would do if you were on the moon. So this is going to be empty. And as soon as I put plastics on here, this is going to come out the next time that it's... Uh, and that's going to be petroleum. So these now should come out and fill up this. Get to the top. Still with the weird flashing of the thing. I think it's this road. I'm wondering whether it's because they can't cross over. Because they're going to come out there and then go down there. And I have to go all the way around. It's, they could go up and they can't cross over. Yeah. All right. Let's just uh, change this road out for this one. Still not liking it. Okay. We're going to do another change. I'm going to move that over there. And I'm going to move that over there. Then we're going to grab our roads. Uh, not that one, this one here. We're going to go for Industry Road. Then we're going to go... Yeah, we're going to go like that. And then we're going to dig into this area here, like so. Carving out moon rock like there's no tomorrow. I think that should be okay. And then we're going to move that to here. And we're going to move that to here. Yep, there we go. Look, so they can see it now. So they've gone out, they've delivered... Oh, have they? No, they haven't. Zone more commercial area to places that sell goods. Well, I've got these places that all... Oh, do these need to be unbalanced as well? Oh. Yes, they do. Okay, there we go. And now this one's going out. So these should... Yeah, I was hoping I could put those on empty and it would just see them there. And then the game would then bring the stuff over here. But I just don't think it's working like that. What I'm also going to do is i'm going to connect this here to down here i was just going to do control left click give them the <laughs> dedicated turning lane no it's vanilla no control left click so i think that hopefully we'll get the way the game works kicking off and this will start filling up let us see what happens Yeah, these guys just don't want to take the stuff out. Um, I've just moved them back here onto this road. So I'm wondering whether... Um, see, this is filling up. It's almost at balanced. If this gets up to 50, will they then go somewhere else? But this one here, the plastics, just don't want to be taken from there to here. And they can get there. They can come out, turn in there. They can turn around at the end. I've replaced this. They just don't want to do it, which is really, really weird. If I put it on fields... No, put it on empty. No, put it on balanced. Okay, which is really weird because this one's going on balance and it's going okay. Oh, there we go. I think actually, yeah, see, we've got to the halfway point and now they're choking. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a quicker route. What is going on? What? What, what, what? What's the matter? No one to collect dead people. What are you talking about? Um, we've got this. Oh, is this filled up? Nope. Hearses in use to that tent. I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to pop in some cryo preservatories. Have we unlocked those yet? Oh, we're so close. Hang on. <laughs> if people are born quicker than they die just for a couple of minutes. There we go. Thank you very much. We will unlock the cryo preservatory. This one here. 
which is a little bit more um you know futuristic it's part of the high-tech buildings uh thing uh pollution the noise pollution zero oh it's tiny isn't it mm, let's squeeze them along here one and two and they should send out some vehicles like straight away or oh, we can choose uh these are going to do the coroner's vans because why not coroner's vans there we go excellent oh they need water are they on that <laughs> little slip of land that's got no water on the moon surprisingly there we go so that'll be good so they're gonna go out Do you know what? i am actually just gonna change this around a touch teeny tiny little wicker little bit we're gonna grab that one and we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna turn that round on here so it's got its own side road. There we go. Still coroner's van, still coroner's van. Yeah, that's better. That might just help with access a little bit. Hopefully that will help. Man alive. That is suddenly a dire situation. Yeah, plenty of crematoriums available than everything. It's just suddenly all gone to pot. Let's add a couple more in. What are these actually costing me? 32,000. They're not too bad. Because they're so small... Wondering whether we could just sort of squeeze one. Let's move that up and pop one in there. And we're going to change those to coroner's vans. And maybe another one down this end of the woods would be helpful. I can find a little spot. I think we might just pop that down here in amongst all the other buildings. And that will do for now. Well, let's leave that going then. And hopefully that will sort that out. I mean, we're still growing. We can get another square now if we wish, which is good. Uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, what is the next unlock? 19,000. Waste processing, all sorts of things. So, back to the problem with the oil. What I was thinking, with the, I think this is a distance problem. I bet if we put that factory over here, it would work. But I want the factories down there. That's just what I'm doing. We can use an internal train network to help us. Um, which is all it's going to do is cargo and nothing else so if we pop this oh look at that that is just perfect we pop that there and then we take this along here and then where we're going to put the other one up here i think we're going to have it along the front here like this so let's just clear out some land I'm sort of squaring this off here, even though it's like a different height, because what I'm going to do is that's going to fit there. Yes. And then we're going to have this go underneath the ground, hopefully. Uh, page down. So that doesn't feel like it's going underground to me. There we go. What? Is that underground now? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, it's <laughs> that is definitely underground. And then that is going to swing round this sort of thing here and get to over there oh man it can't get under that road look at that road there it's so low what come on now oh man i don't think i've ever had so much flipping trouble trying to get some train lines to line up it's like i've got to get either well, i'm getting going over these roads then i've got to get down enough to get in here because the thing's flipping on a great big tunnel this is doing my nuts i have to say oh i've done it i took a totally different way around and i went down here instead and underneath and joined over here hopefully that will be okay let's just take a look and see what's going on yes they're bringing stuff out into here we need to smooth <laughs> look at this i mean you know normally you'd look at that and think no we can't leave it like that uh this road we can't leave like that i'll sort that but, you know, if you had some machinery that you brought in and it was just like, you know, we're going to dig out something for some stuff on the moon, I don't think you'd be that fussed exactly how it looked. So what have we got there? We've got two pyrolysis plants now, haven't we? Maybe we could just shiftify these over here and just tidy up this area over here just a little bit. Unfortunately, I want this road to go down, but I know what's going to happen here. Everything still road connected, not looking too bad. Everything working. Excellent. So now it's just a case of waiting to see whether we get our first train out here. Um, you see, we could just sort of cover this in moon algae around here so you don't sort of see it so much. 
Let's just say we've spilt some chemical waste over here. Got some different colour ones. I want a darker one. Let's have a look. And it's just made it all go green. So we're gonna there we go. That's look at that. Oh, that just looks that looks exactly like what you would see on the moon if you accidentally spilt some chemical waste. That is what you'd see. Okay, right, let's see. Oh look, this is working. These are working. And we just want to wait for a train to see if the whole thing is uh, working. Oh, we have a train. Mind the algae. Okay, let's uh, go down here. And hopefully now... Yes, look at the speed of it. Look at the speed of it. We're going to get down here. And that is going to empty some stuff into these. Yes, there we go. So now we're going to have the petroleum and the plastics that we need, which are going to do this and make our goods, which are then going to be sent off into our shopping area. And everybody's going to be uh, using those, which is great. Excellent. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. Right. Seem to have a bit of a traffic issue over here. What are we at? Let's just take a look at this. 73%. Oh, they're using the road up here. I was thinking, why are they going on the tunnels underneath? They're not hooked up to anything, but they're not. So that's fine. Um, I think it is just a sudden influx of people, which then holds all of this down. Blocks all of this up. I think we'll just leave it and go with the flow. And are you still complaining because of lack of picking up the dead bodies? Well, we've got that covered. So please stop complaining. Death care is a plenty, so thank you, yes, and goodbye. So taking a leaf from the way we have our ore uh, area industry set up over here, we've got the ore industry DLC type buildings in the middle, and then we've got those other ones around the outside uh, from the district specialization that you can add. I'm thinking I'm going to do some of that up here um, with our oil as well. So let's have a look. We need to first of all paint a normal district over the top of this which we're going to do there we go because this already should be an industry district yeah uh yeah there we go <laughs> of course it's so big i can't see it there we go and then we're going to add the oil specialization to this there we go and then we're going to add a load of buildings and i'm wondering whether i'm going to live to regret this whether it's just going to cause so many problems or whether it's going to be okay. Yeah, we're going to have a few small ones. I'm sort of leaving a gap in between. So we're going to do that. We're going to fill up that there. All of these. I just want them filled up with businesses. There we go. Might as well get all of that space at the back. Oh, no, we don't want that one. There we go. And we're going to get those sort of oil industry type buildings that are popping in. Excellent. That's probably going to cause us a load of traffic. But this is just the sort of... I thought I lined up this road. Darn it. That's going to give us just the sort of traffic uh, that we would expect in an area like this. And just the sort of look that we want on the moon. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. I go like that and then go like that. And it drags that down there. Yeah, all right. We're, whatever. Whatever. We'll just, we'll just go with that. It's fine. Okay, so this seems to be all running okay. Just keeping an eye on our stocks here. We're making more oil than we can use. We've got more plastic. and I think we could do with making more petroleum and plastic. Because if we come over here, this guy is always waiting for plastics and petroleum. We want these. Um, yeah, plastic seems to be the one, doesn't it? This one's okay. Yeah, let's increase our plastic production, which is this one. Yeah, the petrochemical plants. Could we add... I feel like I want to just sort of dig out into that mountain a bit. Oh, we could just pop it over here, couldn't we? Yeah, let's see if we can sort of squeeze it down the side here. There we go. We're going to pop another couple of those in. And I think that should then keep up with what we want to do. I'm also going to just turn off... Uh, we don't want that there. I don't even think we need stop signs. I don't think we need that there. And the rest of the area, I think, is okay. We just have a huge need. I'm just wondering whether we could just populate this little area here with a load of oil industry-type buildings. 
and just see how that goes we just need it and then we're going to need to run the monorail up here of course we are so people can get into work so let's just see what we can do i'm going to run this sort of up through the middle ah more factories oil has reached level three uh, another factory large oil pump more storage nice we just do something like that and then yeah let's see what we can work out down here There we go. It's filling in, which is good. Unfortunately, it seems like wherever we put this oil industry down on the moon, it has this side effect of this moon algae that just seems to grow everywhere, which is weird. On the Earth, you don't get that so much. I've, I've never seen it. Not an expert on uh, mining oil, but uh, yeah. Mm, not so good, not so good. Hopefully, it's not going to spread down to the population. But anyway, oh, we've just got such a huge demand for industry. It's nuts. 20% unemployment. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is just unbelievable. So we just need to have a huge amount of extra industry. I'm wondering whether there's something else we can do that could help with that. Well, I'm thinking we could increase our IT buildings. I mean, as it stands normally, IT is a place for educated citizens to work. Uh, we've put in here our IT cluster buildings, which has 50% less workers, 30% more electricity. But I just think this is one of these things that we're going to have to go with because we're trying to do things that make it all look more like it's something on the moon. And these IT buildings, look at that, really add something special along here so i think we're going to do the same along here either side of this monorail and i think we're even going to fill in this spot along here with some of those high density high it cluster whatever they're called buildings i think that is what we're going to do oh everyone's struggling for power we'll just take a look at that in a moment it's just going to fill in this zone here i've just extended the other zone there we go. Excellent. So we can pop some of those in there. Uh, before we do that, let us check the power. Okay. Uh, just check our zone. That one and that one. Yeah, that's fine. So we have been adding these in. Uh, do we have any sort of high-tech power options? The high-tech option is a wave power plant, uh, which I don't particularly want to use. We're going to use... We've got this one as well, a thermal updraft. 90,000... That is 240. That would just be brilliant wouldn't it in this area can i pop that right on the corner there and i think that is going to take us well over what we need and we could probably even then drop our budget down yeah look at that we're fine let's drop this down to sort of like 85 percent and i think that's going to keep us going for a while yeah no problem at all water gonna start struggling with that okay uh, well let's go for we've got now the large water towers uh, even bigger than the normal size water towers. Could I pop one of those like down here? It's going to sink on the ground, isn't it? Can I put it onto a pipe? Darn it! Shouldn't have done that. Let's just not talk about it. <laughs> we're not. We're not going to talk about it. And then sewage treatment. Yeah, we're popping it all into this lake. Popping, not pooping. There it goes. Poop lake. And we're going to add another one of those. And that should. Let's speed things up. That's fine. We're covered. We're covered. All right, let's get some more IT buildings in here, either side. High-tech IT buildings. I've just realized what this road has done here. I'm not entirely sure I want to keep it like that. So <laughs> let's come out of this view. There we go. Let's go like this, and let's just pop that as a tunnel. If we go up to there. There we go. I think that looks better. So while that's filling in, I'm then going to bring that zone over here as well. Oh, actually, no, we've taken care of low demand. Oh, okay. I think we're, we've sorted that for now. Yeah, that's looking good. That is looking good. Oh, things are growing in well. We've got that nice balance going. And also, this helps with the budget as well. Look at this IT cluster. We're making a ton of money. Oil and ore are making a ton of money. Industry, we're making a ton of money. 
Uh, if we look at our industry areas and fishing, this, uh, as we know, goes up and down. But a minute ago, that was making us money as well. Uh, we've got free public transport, so that will be losing us a whole ton of money. But apart from that, that is going really well. And as we get into this high density area, that just starts to look really cool. And I'm wondering whether to change our high density residential buildings, so these ones along here, to the... Mm -mm -mm, the specialization that makes them look really really nice it's this one here isn't it yeah the self-sufficient buildings i think that would be a good idea hey we've just hit grand city fantastic oh that's really cool we've got some things third loan don't need loans we're doing fine how about a baseball park on the moon maybe we could do something like that um whoa what is this doing thank you very much that was really weird that was just drawing, even though I didn't need it to draw. Uh, this one... Oh, man, I'm messing up my zones. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I think we're okay. So I'm going to add self-sufficient buildings to the whole thing. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to quit autosave. I'm pretty sure it only affects the high-density ones and not the low-density ones. Oh, no, it does, doesn't it? Of course it does the low-density ones. We've seen them, haven't we? Do you know what? I'm not going to add that to the whole thing because I don't want everybody to rebuild. I'll tell you what, we're going to leave this area as it is. And then as we expand out even more over this way into the crater, then we're going to we're going to do that. Yeah, that is going to be the plan. OK, I'm going to extend this zone here. Around here, and we are going to definitely fill this with some high tech uh, IT style buildings as well. In fact, I'm going to continue it onto the other side of the road and it's going to be a buffer between what is becoming our industry, there we go, and our commercial area. Um, how far back are we going to go? I think we're just going to go along to the edge there. That should be fine. Yep, there we go. And of course, we need to balance this out carefully because we're now getting this warning here. If we take a look at this one, not enough buyers for products. That means we're making, because these IT cluster buildings make goods. So we're making too many goods, which is also over here. These guys are making too many goods. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a central storage hub for goods. Can I do that? What is the storage on this? This is a huge amount of storage. That isn't going to fit there because of the monorail. Um, where could we pop that? I think along the back here, behind all of this, would be good. So I'm deliberately not following the grid setup now. I want to start moving away from that as much as we can. That does have a noise thing attached to it, but I'm going to pop... Let's leave enough space for a road in the middle, and then we're going to have down here commercial goods so all of these extra goods that are being made we're going to leave those on balance or oh, they need some water should then just be stored in here uh, until we have a need for them which normally they would have been then sent out of the city to be sold but of course they can't be at the moment so we've got some workers coming in here 18 percent full so people are bringing stuff in here already which is uh excellent -y. And then we can fill the back of this up with even more. Uh, no, do you know what? We're going to go commercial here. Because we need some commercial. So we're going to go that to there. That to there. And then we're definitely going to have some more high tech, high density buildings along the back here. As we start moving in that direction. Good. So hopefully what we're going to see now. Oh, there we go. Look. Not enough buyers of products has gone. It's gone from all of these, and it's gone from all of those. So that's worth keeping in mind. Some of these have actually gone. <laughs> Probably not enough buyers for products yet. Well, if you just waited like three seconds, we had a buyer for your product. It was this warehouse. So these will now be good storage as an intermediary place for all of these goods that we're making. Oh, man, and the use of our monorail line has shot up. Look, there's loads of people using these, which is not, uh, you know, that is understandable, really, isn't it? So let's get these up to, I'm going to go to seven. I'm going to add a couple more. 
to those. Yes, I think that is really going to help. And something I think we also need to concentrate on is our tourism. You know, we can bring people in to be tourists to stuff here on the moon and we will charge them a lot of money to enjoy that privilege. So maybe that is something that we're going to concentrate on in our next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe and check out the next video on the screen. Be sure to be back here for the next one. Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye from the moon.